I'm going to explain how light gets scattered. Now, it's a bit of an odd one because the best explanation for this is explaining the scattering of a wave of light through the absorption of a particle of light and the particle of light being re-emitted in another direction. So, very simply, what basically happens here is the wave, the electromagnetic wave, comes along in this direction. <coughs> Let's imagine its E field is in this direction here. And this E field uh, finds an electron that transfers its energy to the electron. So what happens is the electron starts moving up and down in the same direction as the E field. Now what, now what you've got is you've got an oscillating electron, which had the same frequency as the E field which came in. So an oscillating electron, what it can do is it can... The first photon has been destroyed. Very quickly, you've got an oscillating electron for a short amount of time, but then that oscillating electron re-emits the photon. Now, it can re-emit it in this direction, it can re-emit it in this direction, it can re-emit it in this direction. Each direction's got a probability associated with it, but what it never does is it can never emit an E-field in this direction, because then the E-field would be in this direction, and that would be parallel to the direction of motion. So, any direction in this plane. Now, what you're going to find is, when like this process whereby photons coming in and being scattered, that means the photon being absorbed <coughs> and scattered in a random direction, this polarises light. If you get scattering through 90 degrees, it will be 100% polarised. And if you get scattering through an angle other than 90 degrees, but some degree of scattering, it will be polarised to less and less an effect. The next thing about scattering is scattering is very, very, very dependent on the wavelength of light. So blue light, or higher frequency light, is strongly scattered, whereas red light, or lower frequency light, isn't as sensitive to scattering. What I'm going to do is, at the moment, there is no centres, or small dust particles, um, or any type of particle, for the light to scatter of. Um, I'm going to introduce some particles which the light can scatter of. Uh, what you're going to see then, hopefully, is you should see a bluish light coming from here. And that makes sense, because the blue light is strongly scattered, so it will come out this way. And then when you view that through the Polaroid, so if you get your Polaroid, and you rotate your Polaroid, you'll see there's a change in intensity. And indeed, at 90 degrees, you shouldn't be able to see this blue light at all, you'd be like, that, that blue light is 100% plane polarised. That is one thing you can see. And then if you move, if we look down along here, what you will notice is what was once yellow or oh, white light is now red. And the reason why that will appear red is because all of the blue has been scattered out to the side, which means, and all of the red has just continued straight along. Now the red light hasn't been polarised, so it hasn't been affected at all. Um, and that's polarisation by reflect or by uh, scatter. So let's see if this works.